Hello, welcome to my channel, Oracle Intuitions. My name is Catherine, and this is your forecast for May 2020. In this reading, we're going to be looking into the current energies going into May, such as what you're allowing to come through, and what energies you may be blocking, as well as how to get the most out of this month ahead. We're also going to be looking into your surrounding relationships, and we're going to be closing the reading off with messages from Spirit regarding your current journey. Just so you know, guys, I'm an intuitive reader, which means that while I do read traditional tarot, I also look into the energies that I feel are here as I'm performing my readings. I'm very honest and I'm very blunt, and I'm just going to remind you that because my readings are for the collective, not all readings will resonate with everyone. If you do enjoy this reading, however, and you'd like a more in-depth personal reading, please see the link to my website below. I have also listed all the cards used in this reading, as well as the schedule of all the readings that I'm going to be doing on my channel. If you would like to be alerted every time I post a new reading, please click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And now let's begin. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your reading for May uh, 2020. We're going to be looking into what energies you're bringing forward into the month of May, what things you may be blocking. We're going to be looking into what will help you through this month of May. What things do you need to take a closer attention to? We're going to start off with the Heal Yourself Oracle cards and we're going to go into some clarification with the tarot. All right. And remember that all of my cards that I'm using are in the description below as well as a link to my website if you're looking for a more personal reading throughout this month. I feel like I need to shuffle this just one more time. Okay, so we're looking into energies for Capricorn for the month of May. Selling out. Love. How teachable are you? Soulmate. And courage. All right, so Capricorn, what I'm getting right off the bat, just let me put these cards away. And that squeaking is my chair. Please excuse it. All right, so Capricorn, this is what I've been feeling. Uh, this is what I'm feeling for you guys. I actually feel that for some of you, at least, you are in a very good relationship. There's a lot of love with your possible soulmate. This is what I'm really getting. Um, I, I, you know, I feel that for those of you who aren't in a committed relationship at this point in time, I'm really getting that there might be somebody either trying to come in or somebody who, um, y you know, who, who may appear in the, in the future for you. But I'm getting here, there are some things that you, you do have to learn, okay? It's saying, how teachable are you? And I'm feeling that with this card, okay? This, how teachable are you? I feel like at times, and maybe even, even with those that are, you know, currently in happy relationships, I feel like at sometimes you feel like maybe you're not standing up for what it is that you truly want. And whether this is in a current relationship or, uh, you know, where you're seeking that, uh, possible relationship I do feel that some of you are sort of in this place like you might feel like you're not always speaking up or you're saying what it is that you truly want maybe some of you are feeling a little bit held back you know even in that current relationship but here's the thing is I'm feeling though you're not really being held back um, on a physical or emotional sense from the person I feel like this is internal and I feel like it's just finding that courage to take that step forward. So this is this is what I'm getting first thing for some of you Capricorns, okay? I just want to do some clarification with the tarot and seeing what's coming in. I actually feel like there's this really strong relationship. And again, if, you know, for those Capricorns that currently aren't in a relationship or, you know, that are seeking a relationship, I feel something is really coming up. But I'm feeling for some of you, you know, you may have had moments, you know, in the past where you've also felt like you were selling out, even within the, even with the people that are, you know, in the current relationship. Um, and for some of you, I'm getting that this relationship that you're in, 
you really have learned a lot from this relationship. It actually gave you that courage. It gave you that courage to maybe possibly remove that feeling of selling out is what I'm also getting here. Okay. So I'm feeling a couple of energies coming through, but those are what we're getting, you know, to start off with just in the very beginning of opening this reading. And we are clarifying for Capricorn for the month of May. Two of them okay yeah that queen of swords energy is coming through judgment card queen of coins the eight of coins and the three of coins okay i love this i really like this i really like this opening of the reading so when selling out okay capricorns i feel like you may have i feel like this selling out is a past um a past energy this is what i'm getting this how teachable are you you've been taking those steps now whether it's recent steps or whether they're steps you know that you've taken in the you know recent past like you know up to about six months maybe a year um, I feel like you have released that energy of selling out that queen of swords is coming through and you know and if this is if this isn't resonating with you know some Capricorns I feel like this energy is what needs to come through okay but this queen of swords I mean she's 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 one of my favorite queens because she doesn't take any crap I mean she really doesn't she just kind of goes in she just you know cuts to the quick she's like nope I am done I'm done staying in, in this energy or I'm done having this energy around me this is what I'm really getting from her now this queen of coins energy is coming through with a lot of healing and you know with her coming underneath the love card what I'm getting right off the bat is again I'm feeling you know even if you're not in a current relationship I feel like the energy of a relationship that's going to be coming through is very healing okay when i look at this queen of coins she's you know she is the she's strong you know she knows what she wants she's you know she's very um set in in her position like she knows that she just is deserving of this love she knows how to heal you know uh, things that are no longer serving her same with that queen of wands or the queen of swords she just cuts it out whereas the queen of pentacles she's already in a place where she's cut all of that out okay that how teachable are you you know here's the thing i do feel that you know there was moments as you were going through your lessons of you know life i guess let's just put it in that in that sense like as you were going through these you know epiphanies that you had and you know looking back at you know selling yourself out maybe you know not maybe accepting things that you knew you deserved better for what i keep getting is this judgment card coming through i feel like it's not particularly judgment like you were judging yourself although some of you may have been but what i'm getting here is that it, it's like the the angel's horns are blowing you know they're celebrating and each time that you released something that you felt you may have been possibly selling out on you that you were learning from those past lessons you took that step like it, it was because it was like you became more you became stronger and stronger that courage card came through and it gave you that strength to continue going and and releasing more from your past things that are bringing you to this love this soulmate card i do feel that for some of you um this eight of coins and this three of coins you know what i keep getting is it almost feels like this relationship and again if it's a current relationship or whether it's a relationship that's about to come in you guys are going to work very well together there's i feel like there's compromises that the two of you will work on there's things that like maybe in the past you felt like you were selling out because 
maybe somebody wouldn't compromise with you or maybe you weren't very compromising you know you had your set way and you wanted this that and the other thing and you were very stubborn about it or maybe they were or it could have been the two of you together but as you're going through I'm also feeling here that there's more of an energy of being able to work together to be able to bring this relationship you know to a place where there's this comfort level this strength between the two of you that king of cups coming through the death card that transition the four of wands and the wheel capricorn this is a beautiful this is a beautiful beginning like this is a i feel like your month like may is going to be so so strong for you i you know this four of wands energy so when we look at this four of wands energy it's like about completion okay and it's coming underneath the love and the soulmate card I feel like for many of you, this, you know, again, if you're in a committed relationship already, I feel like this is somebody who you feel complete with. And I feel that for those that are single and, and you know, looking for, hoping that, you know, there is a relationship coming, I do feel there is one coming. And it's saying here, this is a relationship that you can start to feel complete with, okay? Um, now, remember, it doesn't always mean that you're going to, you know, end up you know happily ever after or anything like that but it's going to be the start of you know it's that it's that energy where you're starting to feel like you're um you're complete within yourself okay you don't need that other person to complete you remember that completion is in with ourselves but what i'm also getting here is that king of cups it's 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 recognizing your emotional strength you're no longer feeling in that energy of that selling out or you know needing to you know always have strength or always be the strong one even within a relationship this is that king of cups energy of having that emotional faith and trust in other people you don't always need to be the one that is moving things forward you don't always need to be that one who has the courage you know you can learn to rely on other people and i feel like you're beginning to recognize that faith and that trust coming through okay um and and for the people that aren't serving you you know you're basically taking that stance of i don't need this this is not what i need this is not progressing me in my venture forward you know, I don't need things that are holding me back. This death card is coming through and the death card is all about transition. So it's allowing yourself to transition to that next step, that next step of completion. Okay, this, this is really what I'm getting. So what it's telling me here, Capricorn, is that you, you know, you've gone through this process or you're about to go through this process, this process of, you know, cutting things out, releasing, looking at, you know, again, I feel I feel for a lot of you a current relationship and again you know or it could be a relationship that's about to come in it doesn't mean it's going to come in through the month of May but it is going you know it's on its way there it's heading that way so the other thing I'm getting here is just with this wheel of fortune I'm really getting here is like you you know you've taken all of these steps and these lessons that you've learned and you're changing them into this future that you've already sort of set in your mind. I, this is what I'm hearing in my head. It feels as though you had something in mind, you know, for your future, whether this is a relationship, career, taking that step forward into a different path, but you needed to go through this process in order to change it, in order to transition and allow it to flow through and I feel like throughout the month of May and I feel like coming into May so it feels like April was sort of the realization of this maybe even some steps forward towards this but now you're really ready to transition you're ready to move forward you're allowing that wheel to go into a new cycle you're allowing that wheel to bring you into that place of completion okay I just I feel like I just love this reading it just feels like you guys have become so grounded over the past little while like maybe the last month or two and it feels like it's like you have this inner courage inside of you and 
you're excited about it, but at the same time, you're, it, it's like this strength that just comes through it. You know, it, it's not like a new courage, you know, that new courage where, okay, let me, let me try to prove myself or anything like that. It's not that type of courage. This is a courage that is building that inner absolute strength within you. And I feel like this is now that you've gone through these steps, you're going to continue working through it. You're going to allow yourself to see the progress that's, that's coming and that's happening through this, this whole transitional phase. And it just feels like you guys are so strong internally. And if you're not feeling that at the moment, I'll, this is what I'm feeling within the energy moving forward into that month of May. I do feel that, you know, for some of you who might not be completely in this this phase at this moment, I feel all you have to do is just allow yourself to just take a look, you know, into the past and cut the things out that you no longer need. Allow yourself that that inner faith, that inner trust, and and allow it to flow because this actually has a very good flow within this reading. This is what I keep getting. So what I want to do is I want to take a look into your um, current relationships that are around you, relationships that might be coming in, where you are now. These are, you know, they don't always need to be romantic. They can be, you know, um, just relationships that are around you. But and again, my squeaky chair, I apologize. So... We're going to start off with the um, Romance Angels, and then we're going to be clarifying with some tarot. So we're looking into romance or relationships for Capricorn for May of 2020. Heart to heart conversations. You know, um, going back to that selling out and going back even into those, you know, the the cards of that that soulmate, that love. I feel like uh, I just I feel like this heart to heart conversation. It, it can be with another person, but I also feel like it might be within yourself as well. That like Queen of Swords energy, you know, cutting out what no longer serves you. It's it's having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your own soul, okay? Now, some of you may or may not have children, but I also feel, um, I feel like this is also inner child is what I'm getting, okay? Um... We're going to pull one more. And there it goes. Okay. That one just wanted to almost fly on the floor. Worth waiting for. Divine timing as at work in your love life. We've got flirt. Extend your light heart energy to others. Again, sorry. I'm just putting my cards down. Okay. Capricorn, so what we're looking into, I feel like for those of you that have been waiting for a conversation to come through, the first thing I'm, or conversation, a romantic situation, I feel like this trust card is really calling to you okay it says this situation is calling for you to have trust and i feel like some of you may have you know you've you've done the cut outing and like think cutting things out you've done the clearing you've done the removing of blockages and you feel like you're ready now and maybe something isn't showing up at this particular moment and what i'm getting from this with this trust card is it's saying you know what have faith just have trust you know have faith in us 
we don't want to bring you this is what I'm hearing for some of you is we're not going to bring you just anybody you've done all this work why are we going to let just any Joe Schmo or whatever you know like male or female why, why would we let them show up when you've done all of this work you know I feel like this is they're bringing to you a relationship that is going to be strong and it's worth waiting for and that divine timing okay this is what I'm getting that divine time try to have that faith try to have that trust that you know um, when we've done all of this inner work really do we want somebody who isn't up to par like we don't you know what what you know that's what what be the point right so it they're saying here let us bring you somebody that's going to be fantastic and he's good you know this person's going to be fantastic for you okay that's what I keep getting from those two cards right off the bat I do feel that for some of you um I feel like you know I again you know I'm looking at the children and that may be you know that may resonate with some of you but what I'm really getting here or I'm also getting too if some of you are looking to have children this is like a confirmation card for you uh, but what I'm also getting here is there is a lot of inner child work or that you've completed a lot of inner child work this is what I'm getting and when we've done all of this inner child work we don't want to go back we don't want to go back to being who we were okay and and that's why I think it's also asking you to have trust and the worth waiting for so you've done all of this work you've done you know all of this you've put so much energy into making yourself a better person just have trust that the universe is bringing you what it is that it needs to bring you I'm also feeling that for some of you that are in possibly committed relationships as of now or marriages um, I do feel like you're allowing yourself to really express yourself I feel like the relationship that you're in is allowing you to open your heart and really have those conversations you might guys you, you, you I'm feeling like you guys might feel super comfortable with each other it's almost like I feel and I see people that are just talk 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 like allowing themselves to just open up and express and I feel like these you know this this is the image that I keep getting shown I feel like this is a relationship that was worth waiting for you know you may have had relationships in the past that didn't make you feel fully satisfied that selling out energy coming through but this relationship is is exactly what it is that was why the weight why why there was the weight and again same with that you know that trust right allowing yourself to trust that this relationship is coming in so whether you're committed you know in a committed relationship whether you're single I feel like you're getting to this point okay that um, this energy of just feeling so comfortable feeling so strong I feel like you know with that flirt card coming in I, I mean this could literally be for those that are single maybe it's time to start flirting a little bit you know doesn't we're you know most of us are still kind of you know in quarantine doesn't mean you need to you know run out and meet somebody but you know be light-hearted we don't need to always take everything so seriously and I feel too is that flirt with that heart-to-heart -heart conversation remember we don't need to take everything into this deep dark you know serious level all the time and you know we can just have fun we can have fun and you know trust um, trust the conversations that are coming out you know trust yourself trust your instinct and you know going back to that Queen of Swords energy you know if it's if it's not serving you you don't need to continue it you know it's fine you don't you don't need to talk to somebody who's really not worthy of your time okay um, that's what I keep getting but I do feel you know especially for for single Capricorns if you meet somebody you know it's okay to flirt it's, it's okay to have fun you don't need to give them the you know the 20 question drill right off the bat or anything like that but I'm feeling like 
what I'm really getting here is again going back to I feel like for those that are in committed relationships things like you're in a really good place really good place look at that that energy is flowing is what I'm getting here it's also talking about healing like this relationship has helped you to heal or for those of you who are single I feel like there's a relationship that is coming through that is allowing you to heal as well as shine so you look at this this flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others with the shine card oh Capricorn you guys are shining I love this I really do I love this it's like you've allowed yourself to master your heart okay that you know you've allowed yourself to really um, <clears throat> allow yourself to flow you've allowed yourself to start to be who you really were now it is coming through without awaiting results so for those of you that are more in a single place um, maybe you're looking for a committed relationship it is telling you here um, you know guys you've planted the seeds you've done the work or you're about to do the work don't don't rush you don't need to rush there's no there's no need to rush um, you know again going back make sure that the person is worthy and that Queen of Swords energy that came through you know in the in the second round there or the first round there I feel like don't you don't need to waste your time with somebody who you know even master like you know he's got a key his a heart in a cage you don't need to waste your time with somebody who's just playing with your heart um, but I also feel like you have mastered your own heart okay or about to master your own heart I love this I really do and you know again we're getting that confirmation of awaiting results like things are coming things are flowing there's you know um, if you're not in that committed relationship it's about to show up you know I'm not saying it's gonna show up in May um, but I do feel like this work that you're you're doing or have done or about to do is going to bring you the results that you are looking for I truly truly feel this and this move card is saying look at the, this beautiful energy okay this beautiful energy of you know love and it's it's like it's flowing and that's where some of you already are that you have worked really hard to get to in you know the past few months maybe in the past few years and you're feeling content you're feeling that energy flow around that heart like it just feels like you guys are creating love together and I feel like this is the energy for the month of May for the Capricorns okay um, this is so positive I really love this I really feel this healing is going to bring out this shine with you okay and again whether you're single or whether you're in a committed relationship I just feel like things are very strong within you and if you're not in that committed relationship one is about to show up or a little bit more work like working within yourself allowing yourself to shine is going to bring that through and for those of you that are in that committed relationship I just feel this relationship getting stronger and allowing yourself to open up allowing yourself to you know just um, flow with the energy and it just it just feels like you guys are in a really good place within your relationships okay that's what I'm getting right off the bat so now we're going to close off this reading with some messages from spirit just give me one second We're looking into messages for Capricorn for spirit for the month of May and then we're going to do some clarification with the tarot cards and remember um, you know I'd love to hear your comments tell me if this has resonated with you also please let me know in the comment section what kind of readings that you would like to see me bringing forward into the future um, I do have a schedule below of my current readings but um, I am going to be adding more 
Um, I might even be switching that up. We're going to, you know, I, but I'd love to hear what you guys would love to see in, into the future. All right. So Capricorn. I love this. Okay. Okay, so the first card that's coming through is the traitor, and he says, um, I'm just seeing if you can see it on the thing there. He says, oh, I guess it's a little bit bright. Exchange energy to create abundance, okay? Uh, great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. The lady, this would be like the empress card, enjoy growth and reap rewards. The hunter, track down your fears and your desires. And the elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Um, okay, so I feel like for some of you, I just, I actually want to clarify, you know, with some tarot. But I do feel that this very much has to do with the messages that were already brought forth, okay? I feel like, you know, even looking into learning from, learn from spiritual experience and this lady enjoy growth and reap the rewards you guys are growing you know um especially for those that have already put the work into it then there's you know the ones that are about to put the work into it i feel like you know you've 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 grown you've just grown um you've grown on a spiritual sense an emotional sense the physical sense um for those of you that are still I feel like this is advice for some of you who are, you know, maybe haven't quite reached that, that pinnacle of, you know, where you're really, um, you know, feeling at peace at, at this moment with yourself. It is, it is suggesting here, you know, to track down your fears and desires and move beyond your ancestral patterns. So sometimes we can see the patterns of our, you know, our families we can see, you know, patterns that we grew up around. Sometimes we're even so, you know, um, we can look at patterns from society and it's, it's telling you to move beyond that. Okay. It's really saying, you know, take what is fearing, what you're fearing, or maybe things that you're focusing on, track them down and find out why it is that you're focusing in on them so sometimes we might see things happening within society that you know we feel like we need to follow or maybe things that give us some fear and it's saying you know track those down take a look at those see if that's something that you're really resonating with and if you're not use that queen of swords energy that came through earlier and cut it out like just let it go. It's not for you, Capricorn. This is what I keep getting. It's also saying here in that exchange energy to create abundance. You remember, that is just a reminder that what we're focusing in on is the energy that we're going to bring in. So if we want that positive energy, we got to start emitting it. So if we're um, emitting it, not admitting it, but emitting it, you got to admit it too, right? But um, you got to admit your fears, you got to admit your desires before you can receive them. But what we're emitting is what is what we're going to bring in. So what it's telling you here is, you know, just because something is happening down the street from you, if it's not really affecting you, just let it go. You know, if it's not involving you personally, or if it's not going to, you know, really change your life, it, it doesn't mean not stand up for people or, you know, not help out in a community sort of sense. I'm not saying that, but you know, if your neighbors are fighting and it's really their fight, just let it be that, you know, that's the general energy behind it. It, it doesn't involve you, but there may be something in there that you need to explore within yourself, not in regards to them. But the energy why are you so focused on that particular thing okay and that might be something that you need to look into and, and just basically track down and then allow it to be released okay so that you can focus on creating the abundance that it is that you want as opposed to um you know other other things you know that aren't helping you move forward so it's interesting because that trader you know um that exchange energy to create abundance is coming through with the ten of you know the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is like 
and, you know, it talks about like security, happy family life, you know, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life, you know, and this is what it's saying, how to create that abundance, exchange that positive energy. Don't focus on the negative. Let's try to, you know, focus in more on the things that are serving you as opposed to the things that aren't serving you and the moon card. So what I'm, what I'm getting with with this particular card we've got this great teacher learn from spiritual experiences and it talks about the moon you know and the moon card coming through which is a very emotional card it, you know it's, a, it's also a very psychic card it's a very you know um it talks about important psychic insights events behind the scenes and it says you know release the fears that hold you back you know have faith right it's that divine timing have the faith um allow things to flow the way that they're supposed to flow this is what it's telling you look inside yourself go into that inner child that inner child experience release these things that you no longer need with that lady you know and the five of water it says things not turning out the way you'd hoped not seeing the positive in a situation crying over spilled milk when the five of cups comes in this is a very emotional card it really talks about not seeing things in the way that you might like to see them and sometimes again you know going back into the selling out going back into that you know the the cards from the previous rounds i feel like there are some of you that are hanging on to this energy and this is why it's talking about you know track those down track down those fears and desires track down you know um why you're holding on to some of these things allow yourself to grow and reap the rewards of what it is that that you want going into the future so here we've got this three of water and it talks about a celebration a wedding graduation or birth announcement the need to have more fun yeah have more fun you know that flirt card came through right and you know i feel like you guys need to bring some um, there's some of you that may need to bring that going into the future, like going in, like focus on that in the month of May. You don't need to be in that five of cups energy where you're like, oh, woe is me or woe is this or, you know, go in and clean all that crap out that you no longer need in order to celebrate. Be this queen of water. Now, it's funny because this last card, you know, it talks about relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for others and yourselves. So, we've got this you know this lady here enjoy the growth and reap the rewards we had the cards you know talking about relationships going to the next level you know those heart to heart conversations and capricorn here's the thing you know um some of you may feel stuck you know in a in a bit of a place maybe you haven't completely reached that epiphany of you know that positive exchange of energy to create abundance to bring in this ten of you know ten of pentacles uh energy but what i'm really feeling is if you haven't gone through that if you haven't really dug in and you've really gone in deep allow yourself to really do so this month because what it's showing me here is not only this positive um relationship coming through but it's also showing this renewed sense of just positive energy going into the future it's showing that stability that some of you may have been seeking it's showing you know releasing the past and just moving forward in this beautiful and positive light i truly hope that that has helped and thank you so much take care